Hello, and thank you for joining us today for this GP overview of purchase order processing for Microsoft Dynamics GP. My name is Michael Bartnick, and I'm from Software Solutions Group in Buffalo, New York. Purchase order processing is a module within GP that you can use to generate purchase orders to send to your vendors and invoice those purchase orders. It can be used with or without inventory control. Today, I'm using Dynamics GP 2015 R2. To get started, let's create a purchase order. I'm going to Purchasing, Transactions, Purchase Order Entry. You'll notice when I tab into the PO number field, it automatically assigns the next available purchase order number in the system for me. I can type in or look up the vendor ID using the finder. I can have an unlimited amount of items on my purchase order. To insert items, I simply go to my grid, and because I'm not using inventory, um, I can create just a generic item code. So I'll send you some power cords. I enter a quantity of how many I need, 15 at $30 a piece. It automatically extends the price for me. I have a space to enter, enter in a description of the items I'm ordering. I need to tell the site I'm ordering it for. And again, I can enter more items as I need. I need 20 of my 20 mice at $20 a piece. To see more information about the item detail line, I can click the blue arrow while selecting a line. You'll see I have the purchases account. This is the account that will be expensed when I receive the item, along with some additional dates to measure vendor performance. I'm going to just save that, come back to the purchase order, and I'm ready to send this off to my vendor. So if I have emailing set up, I can use email to send a PDF attachment. For today, I'll just print it to the screen so you can see at home. I'll save my document first. It's going to generate a Word template purchase order for me using just the default format. So here's an example of that purchase order. I'll come back to my purchase order now. When, I want, when I'm going to invoice the purchase order, I can do it using a two-way match of receiving and invoicing the purchase order at the same time, or a three-way match of just re of receiving it and then separately ge uh, generating a separate invoice document. So I can do the receive and invoice or the receive the, the, of the PO items by clicking the Actions button. Um, today, I'm going to show you using the Receiving Transactions entry screen back in the Transactions panel. This will be a shipment type. It's automatically going to fill in the receipt number for me when I tab into the field. I can enter in a packing slip number of the, the goods I received. I need to fill in my vendor ID. I can now click the Auto Receive button, which pulls up a separate screen for me to select the purchase order items I want to receive. I'll find the purchase order I previously put in, select the lines I'm receiving. So if I only received some of the items, I can enter a partial receipt if I only got 10 of the power cords in. So I'll hit Receive to um, fill out my receipt document for me now. I can post this um, either as a transaction or in a batch. I'm just going to post it now. Now, if time passes, I receive my invoice from the vendor. I can do my three-way match by going to my Enter Match Invoices. I'll want to put in my vendor document number, which is the invoice number from the vendor. Select the vendor ID. Similar to the receipt, there's an auto invoice button. If I click that, I have a select purchase order items screen that pops up. I find my purchase order that we looked at previously, select my item lines. And I'm invoicing again, just the 10 and 20 um, items I received. Click invoice. Fills in my invoice document for me and I can post my invoice. So that's the three-way uh, match process. Um, so we've now seen creating a purchase order, receiving a purchase order, and invoicing it. 
Again, thank you for joining us today for this overview of Dynamics Purchase Order Processing. My name is Michael Bartnick from Software Solutions Group. Have a good day.